Up next, our Premier League champion, Manchester City, is bringing soccer the cup is to here. deserving students here in America with oh, the help of wow. the United Arab Emirates. That's next on Morning Joe. of over 3 billion people, it's no wonder that America's youth is taking to soccer in growing numbers. Manchester City Football Club and United Arab Emirates have joined forces on their non-profit city soccer. Yesterday, they unveiled their flagship soccer facility on the roof of PS72 in Harlem. We got involved about two years ago. We realized that there, these kids at the school have nowhere to play soccer. And what started as a dream to bring a field to one school evolved into an initiative to provide soccer facilities to inner city kids across the country. Using soccer as a vehicle to sort of helping kids, health, nutrition, fitness, discipline. For many PS72 students, soccer has become an important part of their lives. Our kids are now practicing on Saturdays. They're practicing on Sundays. It changed my life because usually on Saturday, I don't really do anything. But once I started playing soccer, Saturdays I go to Rattles Island and practice with the coaches. It's pretty fun. Fantastic. Here with us now, oh, consultant great, for Manchester City Football Club, Gary Hopkins, who's also in charge of international development for Man City, and United Arab Emirates Ambassador to the United States, Youssef al -Taiba. Oh, my God. Uh, Youssef, you've been, talking Youssef. About, you've been talking about this project for years. It's so, it's so amazing that Roger Bennett and I were talking during the World Cup, saying we got to talk to Youssef about bringing soccer to some of the most disadvantaged places in America. You were ahead of us. You guys, like, where did this vision come from to help kids in some tough neighborhoods? I, I can tell you that it started here in New York. We came here two years ago to Lexington Academy, this wonderful uh, high school, public high school in East Harlem, who was run by a wonderful principal named Tony Hernandez. Um, we decided that we want to help kids in lower income areas that don't have access to facilities, and so this came as a test project. So Manchester City and the UAE Embassy decided to create this partnership and help this wonderful school. They, they facilities are in a very small building, uh, no elevators. They don't have a soccer field. They don't have anything for the kids to use. So they decided that it would be great if they can have a soccer field on the rooftop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we said, great. How can we help? They said, well, if you can help fund it, you know, this is what we'd like to do. So we came here two years ago. We split the cost 50-50 between the embassy and Manchester City. The project went so well yeah. and so successful. We got extremely positive feedback that since we did this two years ago here in Harlem, yeah. we've now done one in Miami, we've done one in Los Angeles, and we're doing one in Chicago in October. And, and Mika, you know, remember when we were talking, we talked to the city about yeah. doing this again before we knew you guys were doing it. Mm -hmm. And for people at home who don't understand the difficulty was, and we, the city wanted to help, yeah. There's just not space. There's space no is space. so precious. Yeah, this is brilliant. And you guys and figured space. it out. Yes. And gives the kids a place to go, to run, to exercise, to develop a team spirit, to get everything they get out of soccer right there in their school, completely safe. And to stay fit and healthy. And to stay fit. Oh, look, mm -hmm. no, do not play. Play. <laughs> play to the peanut <laughs> gallery. <laughs> It's everything. Uh, it's it, everything it really they need. Gary, can you believe that you guys are here not just talking about the great things you're doing for disadvantaged youth, mm. but you're here with a trophy. And oh, by, yeah, the way, and that. by the way, by the way, for, got, for, for it's football <laughs> fans, I mean, I can't mm. believe I'm that close. <laughs> That's a trophy. To the Premier League trophy. <laughs> but the Liverpool fans are probably the closest you'll hey, get for a while. Hey, dude, until the trophy we has an entourage. It <laughs> <laughs> has an entourage. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and by the way, look, they've got security guys that yeah, follow this thing around. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. No, I mean, but anyway, talk, no, no. It, talk about Man City. I mean, this remarkable what you're doing here, but what you guys did. Two points, and I think you said it best yesterday. We started this program when we hadn't won a trophy. We started this Lexington program and went with the kids before we'd won anything. To actually have won a trophy, now be back at Lexington as, you know, Premiership champions, Joe, yeah. and uh, to be able to take that to the kids was phenomenal. But interestingly, the kids had won 
at Lexington had won the Schools Cup two weeks before. So not only did we have the Premiership trophy, we had the kids with their Schools yeah. trophy alongside it yesterday. Are, they, are they picking it up pretty quickly? Yes. Love, oh, yes. Love, absolutely. Yeah, the team captain of their team is a girl who played really, really well. Yeah, so absolutely. Awesome. Wow. So I played with them last night. They, oh, they, they tore you up, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Were you out? <laughs> it's a soccer school. You go there, that's all they play. Yeah. Really? That's all yeah. they play on the playground at lunchtime. In the morning, they get there half an hour before school, they play soccer. Lunchtime, they play soccer. Yeah. We coach them during the day for an hour and after school for two hours. Yeah. It's a soccer school. Oh that community gosh. is becoming a soccer community. You know, 80% of the school are Latinos. Oh. Well, yeah. phenomenal. You know, Frank Ford I explains mm -hmm. in his book, uh, which is one of the great books on soccer, uh, that around the world, soccer is the people's sport. In America, it's more the upper middle class, yeah. wealthy sport. How Soccer Explains the World is a book. It's a remarkable book. Mm -hmm. But you guys, through doing this, are making it the people's sport here, too. I mean, that's the goal. I think there's an opportunity to make it more readily available. Yeah. yeah. More readily available in places that need you just it. Did it. You, can't, you can't put the pitch up. And more to come. Uh, let us know how we can help you. Gary Hopkins, an ambassador, you check out the time. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Hey, can I take Congrats. that home just for a yeah, minute? Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to. Coming up next, no, we'll debate some recent coverage of the Romney campaign and how the candidate's personal wealth is coming into play. Morning Joe is back in a moment. Please don't put your life in.